Hi, I'm going to show you a great way to prepare for those power outages and load shedding moments with this Eddy's 1440 watt modified sine wave inverter. This is a plug and play backup solution with a built in uninterrupted power supply. It's great for running your entertainment equipment or if you're working from home to run your laptop and your Wi Fi for a few hours. The inverter unit is conveniently mounted on top of the casing with all connections pre assembled, so no need for an electrician to install it. This unit's power source is 24 volts direct current produced from two 12 volt maintenance free batteries mounted inside the casing. The inverter unit converts the 24 volt direct current into 230 volts acute current, which is standard mains power. On the back, you have the option to charge your inverter at 10 or 20 amps through the selector here. You can fast charge on 20 amps, but we recommend that you charge on a 10 amp setting to help prolong the unit's battery life. This will take about 11 hours to fully charge on a 10 amp setting with no load connected. If you have unstable mains power, select the wired setting. This has an operating voltage of 90 to 280 volts. Outside of this range, the inverter switches to backup mode. The low sensitivity may cause a slight delay on the switchover. Thus, it's not recommended to run certain appliances such as routers, TVs or desktop computers. We recommend the narrow setting, which has an operating voltage range of 170 to 280 volts. Outside of this range, the inverter switches to backup mode. The higher sensitivity makes switching between modes instant and better for running general electrical devices such as tube or LED lights, TVs, set-top boxes, desktop computers, laptops or charging cell phones and tablets. Please remember, an important rule is never connect the inverter's output to any of your home's outlets or distribution boards. This will certainly damage the inverter even if it is switched off. A nice feature of this inverter are these mounted wheels here. Great for moving it around easily and getting it into position. Avoid placing it near a doorway or a window or in direct sunlight. Ensure that there's enough ventilation area around the inverter. Please be mindful how much you draw from the inverter by calculating the wattages of the devices that you've got plugged in. I've got a TV, 42 inch TV, a lamp and a laptop that I've got plugged in. I'll be drawing about 100 watts. In case accidentally if you overload this inverter, it's got an overload protection. Remember that this inverter produces a modified sine wave that is not recommended for running medical devices or appliances that use a motor or an element such as irons, vacuum cleaners, kettles, toasters, hair dryers, fridges or similar devices. Plugging in the inverter is easy. Taking the power cord supplied, first plug it into the wall socket here. Take the other end, plug it into the input. Then with your three meter cord supplied, plug it into the output here and then at the wall socket switch the system on. The display shows here the connected load, the inverter mode, the output voltage and the battery level. Okay now we're going to switch the inverter on and the power button here. And we're going to simulate load shedding. As you can see, all of our connected devices are still working. Beautiful. Plan ahead and be prepared. Remember, it's best to keep your inverter plugged in and running at all times in case of load shedding. In the event that you can only charge it every now and again, every two months to keep your batteries in a good condition. Now I'm going to show you a runtime guide of the two models that we're offering. In the unlikely event that the inverter is not charging, it's possible that you have overloaded the system and you need to replace the fuse. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Switch off the mains at the wall here and unplug everything for safety. 
Here is the fuse holder. You gently pull back on the holder. This is the main fuse and this is the spare fuse. Take the main fuse out, which would have been blown, replace it with a spare fuse and reinsert it back into the cavity. Push firmly. Plug everything back in. And switch on at the wall. After replacing a blown fuse, provided you are not in load shedding, note that on the display here, backup mode has changed to line mode and the inverter's batteries will charge up again.